yeah, I think Phoenix Force feels kind of crazy overpowered right now. This deck, in fact, felt like the strongest deck I've played in ages, and it's all thanks to the change in the interaction between Phoenix Force and Multiple Man. In the past, when you resurrected Multiple Man with Phoenix Force, and then you moved it, only one of the resulting copies would then be able to move on the next turn. So you can only ever kind of duplicate one at a time. But they changed it in the most recent patch where now both of the copies are able to continue moving. So uh, when you duplicate them on turn five and you end up with two multiple mins on turn six, that means you can then again move both of those multiple mins to double them again, resulting in four total multiple mins that are all eight power, which is nuts. If you put a ghost spider into the mix on turn five, you can get even another multiple man ending up with basically six multiple mans, and then you can Arnim Zola, of course, for extra copies as well, basically just swarming the board with these really hard to deal with eight power multiple mans. And it just feels like you can't answer that sometimes because they dodge Shang-Chi if they're at eight power. Shadow King can help, but you're covering all three locations, so it's really hard to, to get around all of that. Now, you might be thinking, hey man, this is a combo deck. I don't wanna play combo deck. It's absolutely not. You do not need multiple man for this deck to work well. It's great when it hits. You've got Human Torch as another alternative that doesn't feel quite as uh, consistent because it's a little bit more answerable with Killmongers, Strong Cheese, et cetera, and you only get one of them so you don't cover multiple locations. Can be a good power spike, but riskier. But more importantly, this deck has like an entire secondary win condition that hits all the time, which is Shuri and Nimrod. So Shuri and the Nimrod in particular, making 12 power Nimrods that you can then eat with your Venoms and Carnage to create, create copies. That's a fantastic win condition that actually won me far more games than the Phoenix Force line because that's just kind of what I drew while recording this video. So uh, a deck that's got some crazy high roll potential off of multiple man when it hits, and it's not even really that much of a high roll, it kind of just works. And then a great secondary win condition means you go absolutely crazy with this deck. I went 17 and three up 35 cubes, super, super smooth. I actually won a bunch right before that uh, off stream as well on my phone uh, prepping for this video. Uh, just feels like you can't lose sometimes with this deck. Of course, there are some bot games in the mix there. This is still the start of the new season. I haven't hit infinite quite yet. So um, sure, there are probably five to seven wins in there that are bot games, but that still leaves you with a fantastic result <laughs> against real opponents as well. As you're going to see in this video, this deck just works and it feels good. And the Phoenix Force multiple man is kind of nuts. Feels busted strong to me. So uh, definitely keep an eye on this archetype, I think this could be a really power meta force, uh, Phoenix force, in fact, uh, moving forward. This one's pretty scary. Uh, yeah, let's go for forward. Shuri's lab is insane with Venom, insane with Phoenix force. If we get it like multiple man destroys too, we'll be just, oh, forget it, dude. Are you actually in forget it, dude? <laughs> I don't even, dude, I don't even know. Like we're gonna get so wrecked by like a Shang-Chi or a Shadow King or something, but it doesn't matter. I'm having too much fun. Uh, okay, that actually kind of reads like um, crazy, like uh, tribunal plays, which could be one of the few things maybe that's like big enough to beat this. I wonder if I need to Venom like after a Phoenix Force goes down. I don't know, the Carnage kind of wastes the multiple man stats anyway, though, so I don't know. There is, like, some fear that if I'm not big enough to beat Tribunal Onslaught stuff in Shuri's lab, because if they get, like, Iron Man and Onslaught and, like, Tribunal, and Tribunal's 18 and Iron Man's 14, and they have, like, multiple versions of that, we could definitely get wrecked. I don't think there's any question about that. Uh, opponent's feeling very confident, too. Uh-oh, dude. I'm gonna have the craziest game and still lose. <laughs> no way. No, man. This is like a dream for us. No. Do I have any disruption for that? Not really, right? No, I just have to get bigger in two spots. Seems impossible. I mean, this is really big power spreading across the board, right? Don't get me wrong, but... It doesn't feel like enough. Oh, this might be more like Hella Tribunal, which does, I think... Oh, forget it. Which does, I think, have a harder time sometimes uh, distributing its power. I'm gonna want a single multiple man here for the Zola later, probably. It doesn't have to be, like, single, but... 
We need one of them there anyway. Okay, I, dude, like how do we lose this, dude? What do they have? You know what I mean? Like what could they possibly have? What could they have, dude? Oh, that's actually not what I planned to happen, but it doesn't really matter. It's kind of crazy. So boom, 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 boom. We got 90 here. No, 100 and whatever, 120 ish here. Like this has to be enough, right? How do you lose this? We're stacked up really big in two spots in particular. Like there's no way, <laughs> there's no way. How do we lose this? Like Shang-Chi, obviously that sort of stuff. But how do you lose this normally? There's just no way, right? Technically, maybe maybe I could have got a slightly more power from that Muir Island buffed one if I had sequenced this correctly, but I'm not I'm not worried about it, dude. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully, it's fine. Like, there's no way. There's no way, right? How do you lose? If I lose this, I swear to you, there's, it's impossible. It's impossible. It's not possible to lose this. Modok Hella cannot possibly be enough, right? There's just no chance. That hand's not even remotely big enough, dude. What am I worried about? It's not, there's no way. The best Iron Man in the universe is not enough to beat this, dude. No way. Without, without like Onslaught Iron Man Tribunal, you just, it's just not enough. Zero chance. Oh my, oh my God, they actually did win right. <laughs> they actually did win right. But nowhere else, okay. That was so scary, man. That was so scary. It really, ultimately, of course, was not close, but uh, geez, dude. Um, yeah, that's multiple, man, okay. All right, Nico, we don't need you yet. Pretty good destroy stuff. Can we hit multiple man? Ooh, Kamertaj Shuri can be nuts. Oh, interesting. This could be a game where we try to push the Nimrod, right? But we don't currently have a Nimrod. What we could do instead is actually just set up for like a big Venom. Uh, I mean, the second Venom eats, nah, it's not that good. Uh, I think we'll be okay. Even a Shuri Deathlock's actually pretty big. <laughs> but let's try to hit a Nimrod, right? I want a high roll. Rickety Bridge also fine for the um, Nimrod. Dude, I don't know. This still leads into the Venom, dude. Uh, it would be nine, which would be 18, which would be third. Dude, we gotta do that, right? Rickety Bridge does become a bit of a risk in that case, though. I mean, I guess we'd be fine for it on a tiebreaker. I mean, there's still a chance we hit the Nimrod, right? We, 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 we aren't excluding the Nimrod out here. So I think this works fine. Just set up for Venom. And then if we hit Nimrod, we're happy. Oh, baby. This is where you snap if you're a snapper. I don't snap for videos because I don't want people to retreat, but this is where you snap. <laughs> this is where you feel very good about your chances and you snap. Uh, this probably looks like some kind of like surfer buff deck with Sebastian Shaw. They could technically run something like Shadow King, which would be very scary, but maybe we can dodge that with, um, with, um, you know, Arnim Zola or something. I mean, I guess we're going to Venom, probably not Arnim Zola, so I don't think that would really dodge Shadow King too well, but... Might still work out nicely with Rickety Bridge and such. That happens uh, at the end of turn, so the Nimrods could like push back mid basically and be really strong. We do, oh, okay, I was gonna say, we do actually technically still need the second destroyer here for the, uh, for the Venom play, but here it is, so that's good. We would have probably been fine without it, honestly, with just one set of Nimrods, particularly because of Rickety Bridge, but it definitely helps. Uh, opponent definitely more of a buff deck than a surfer. Although I have seen Sinister in some surfer lists already. Dude, Dakin actually scales pretty crazy. This could maybe, maybe get big enough, but I, I kind of doubt it. I think this is just going to be outrageously large. Um, cause, cause the Nimrod is coming back, right? Boop, 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 boop. Uh, I guess we put Torch in after. We're gonna have Big Boy here. Uh, Nimrod 24 here and 24 here. If that they actually are absolutely gonna go off, there's gonna be two Nimrods there. We can force that. I think this is just fine, right? Like, how can this backfire? 
what on earth could possibly happen here? The Mirror Monster Shards just don't do enough. <laughs> like, this is a really good game for this opponent normally, but it's like, just forget it, dude. I mean, it is absolutely ridiculous output for us. Really quite silly. Really quite silly. Rickety Bridge just sending a chill uh, 48 back across the board is so stupid. Oh my god. Okay, cool. Imagine having a 24 power Dakin and losing by 76. Good lord. Thumbs up. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, man. That's pretty brutal. That's kind of the perfect. That's why you snap, by the way. That's why you snap. Uh, yeah, we can play Nico into Human Torch into Ghost Spider. Actually, take the kind of straight up move line. Shuri deleted. Okay, this actually looks like a mirror match. Artem Zola deleted. Okay, dude, my opponent is sick. Uh, variants and stuff. My God. Uh, okay. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is fine. Uh, we don't have exactly the cleanest uh, Phoenix Force. The opponent is playing multiple man and human torch together, so they're also not going to have the cleanest Phoenix Force at that rate. They're giving it a 50 50. I mean, both results are fine. I think I always prefer multiple man, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It works. Oh, that is nice. Uh, yeah, we actually save this Venom, right? We go Shuri. Nimrod Venom. Uh, we do that here actually too, probably to get away from these. Although that uh, definitely can just uh, depend. The, the tin doesn't feel safe at all though, right? Because we do know that the Phoenix Force can create those problems. <sighs> oh, Carnage 2 is sick though. Yeah, okay. So we have a great um, final turn. We'll put the Carnage um, probably left because it has more bodies to eat that way. And then Venom mid. This is cool. We're getting. Oh, they brought the Shuri back. Destroy. I forgot. Oh my God. Hotel Inferno also. Oh my God. I forgot about that. That's crazy. Yeah, we're on a Nimrod line, not a Phoenix Force line this game. Uh, dude, Hotel Inferno. That's that's actually nuts. I could have gotten an Arnim Zola Phoenix, which would have been pretty bad, I think. Now, that's their own Nimrod. Yeah, see. This actually became a little bit interesting all of a sudden, but I think we have to be favored here, right? I think we just have to be favored. Uh, so this is going to be 15 mid. The opponent eats Venom here. They would have more than 15 mid, although they may move Shuri to help contest. I could decide to give up mid, but their Nimrod's actually less like, I don't know, it just kind of depends on where they put their Venom to, but ultimately this is fine. We get an eight power Carnage. We send... 12 here, 12 here. Venom sends 12 back here. That's 20 power here. Man, I wouldn't mind the Venom being left, though, to be honest. Just to lock in more of this power, because I think we can win left. It really it really doesn't matter. This, this is actually more power overall. I think it's fine. It just kind of depends on where they play and stuff, like where their Venom goes, etc. So it's really hard to say what's right. They're going to have 20 power. Or no, they're going to have 24 power left. Uh, so we'll just see. They went Shuri left instead of Shuri right. Makes me nervous. Is this Venom? Oh, it's Arnim Zola. Oh my God, bro. Oh no. This still went pretty dang good for them, huh? No, we're fine. No, we're fine. Oh, 24 is not enough. Get wrecked. No, no, we're fine. They had a great outcome despite the Shuri being weird. Like the Phoenix Force turning into the Shuri actually worked out really well for their hand. But we're chill. All good. Uh, okay, let's chill on uh, on Nico for now. Bifrost is actually somewhat powerful for us if we hit our stuff on time. By somewhat, I, I actually mean it's very powerful. Um, Forge is not really the card we're looking for, but we can play Nico now and still hit a good turn three, destroy potentially if we hit Torch or Multiple Man. Uh, if we don't, we might just play a Venom anyway. I don't know, just uh, draw two cards. I mean, Forge is technically probably better, right? For the Phoenix Force, like at least it gives the Phoenix Force some upside. <laughs> it's not much upside to be fair. 
Could go like Shuri and then try to hit a Nimrod is another possibility if we just wait. Man, I, uh, yeah, okay. I don't know. We're, we're going to greed this a little bit, I guess. Try to hit Shuri into Nimrod. I think that's our best plan, to be honest. Just destroy the Shuri. Try to hit the Nimrod. Opponent's going Jeff plus Lizard. Okay. Uh... No Nimrod. Well, that's not good. So I can actually go for Venom here. I go six for multiple man, 10 with Nico. Venom goes to 13, 14, and then I can like Arnim Zola it. Oh my God. This is bad. Uh, if I go Phoenix Force, Shuri, is there anything cool there? Into like Forge, into like try to hit an Arnim Zola. I mean, the Forge doesn't really do much. No, oh, man, I, I don't think we got this right. I don't think 14 left and mid is going to be enough, to be honest. So we'll try. It's not crazy. It's just not. Do these? I've never really noticed these spotlight portraits yet seen a couple but i never really looked at them i haven't been playing on pc much on my phone uh wild dude kind of like high techy looking huh i never equip my infinity border i wish i had this in spotlight oh that actually really hurts my game plan oh that makes the uh <laughs> that makes the the venom so much smaller for the arnim zola uh I mean, it technically could still be enough, but boy, does it feel bad. I don't know. I don't know about this. It's only going to be eight power mid, right? We'll play, I mean, for one cube risk here, we'll play it out. They already got us on the hook for one, an extra one cube. I mean, I'll see how it goes, man. I doubt we're in, we're in luck, but oh my God. No way. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, wait. Oh, it's not. It's not eight. Is it eight? Oh, it is eight. Yeah, I'm right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, dude. That was scary. But we got there. Just Gamora. Dude, they didn't move Jeff. I wonder what they thought I was planning here. Oh, my God. It's not a bot, right? Either. No way. No way. Okay, Forge. Uh, fist bump. There you go. Resident Brand, Herald of Galactus. Forge cloning vats into Forge is like, this is kind of like a cool little chain sometimes. I think we're still probably Shuri Nimrod gamers, but uh, this is a pretty good Shuri Nimrod hand. I can't seem to find the Phoenix Force side of this deck. I was playing on my phone before before I started recording and it was, you know, it was, uh, that's all I got. I just got endless, endless games. Man, this is a good line too though. Shoot, these carnages get so big and you see to copy them. Is that actually just better than Shuri Nimrod, like Carnage Nimrod stuff? Maybe? I don't know. We're going to do it because it's more fun, and I've played this freaking uh, Shuri Nimrod line 17 times while recording this video. But I was getting only Phoenix Force games on my phone, which I want for the video, because Phoenix Force is what got changed. Uh, and now we're only getting... Uh, now we're only getting freaking uh, Nimrod games. Phoenix Force on the Forges... It's not really right, is it? I think you just go like big carnage again, don't you? Maybe you actually do that. Like, where are we going to Nimrod at, right? We're going to Nimrod left. And then we're going to Venom. Maybe you forego the... Maybe maybe you pull this carnage right, actually. That's pretty cool. I don't know about this, man. This feels like I'm... I'm oh! Ooh, I'm glad I pulled the carnage right. This game just got a little harder to win without that. Uh, that's going to be, a, of course, a very big power carnage contesting right. Thank God. Because uh, now the Nimrod doesn't give me the coverage there. Um, so... I mean, do we trust that 16? Like, I kind of trust that 16, right? Oh, bro. We've also got, like, this into Arnim Sola. <laughs> Or just a second Venom, too. I don't know why I'm only doing Carnages. I also have Venoms. I kind of forgot I also have Venoms here. I, dude, I don't know. This got wacky. 
This just gets me a big Venom and a big Carnage again. I don't even know. I, I have a luxury of choice here. I have too many cool things to do. And I think you trust the 16. Uh, oh, you definitely... Oh, but well, Annihilus now could maybe cause me some headaches. Uh, that would take me to six, but then I could just Arnim Zola, right? Well, no, Arnim Zola doesn't really feel very good either. Bro, oh, I don't know. I don't know what to freaking do, man. Are they going to play Annihilus left, right? Because they, they think mid is gone. They're going to try to flip right. Arnim Zola, I mean, it's it doesn't seem right because I don't win mid, you know? Bro, I, I really don't know what's going on. Be real with you. I really don't know what's going on. But I think this is fine. This covers Annihilus is the main thing. <laughs> I think this is fine. I don't know. It's just this game just got out of hand. This is one where it just gets away from you a little bit, but you're having fun. You're just slinging the cards. The numbers are big and you're just hoping for the best. You're pretty sure you're good to go. And indeed, that's the truth. Yeah. 41 chill left. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Victory. Um, I don't know. The Zola was like risky, right? Because we would have only had like 17 left. I mean, maybe we would have had 20 with the Metropolis. I don't know, it just didn't seem worth it. I, plus, you eat the Void anyway if you Venom. I don't know, Zola just didn't make any sense. This was definitely the line. Ooh, this is a really good multiple man hand. Can we hit the freaking Phoenix Force? Let's go. Easy Phoenix Force game. All right, we got, we got the Shuri's Nimrod backup plan. We're going to have to actually make a little bit of a tough decision here around whether or not we trust the Phoenix Force or we save the Carnage for the Shuri Nimrod payoff later. Oh, I like that instead too. Um, this is also kind of cool. This this hedge isn't just a normal multiple man line too because now Death Domain is really cool. And Nimrod, of course, really good in Death Domain with Shuri. So we don't even really need to save, uh, destroy as much. We'll still have some pretty cool plays here. And now I think we're heavily favored in Death's Man as well, of course. We're never snapping in a Vesuvius, we know that. <laughs> no way, no how. So Phoenix Force would still be a fantastic top deck here, of course. Like, really good. We would be over the moon. But we'll take a Shuri as well. Shuri into Nimrod is fine. We get 12 and 12, and then we still have the top deck outs for another eat to transfer the power again. But ultimately, 12 left is usually really good. Uh, some risk maybe of like a null or something, right? Could go, could go wrong. Definitely some possibilities things could go south here, but typically we're happy, I think. A, um, Sebastian here could be kind of wacky. Venom gives us a good final turn. Man, we've had like all Nimrod games and no Phoenix Force games. I have so many cool Nimrod games. <laughs> He wins a lot of games. It's great. Don't get me wrong. I'm not mad about it. We're winning a lot. It's cool. It's going to be a long video full of Nimrod games and like two Phoenix Force games, but it's all good. Oh, Brood is actually pretty nasty. Dang. Um, suddenly hard to contest. Venom will pull back though, so I think we'll be fine. Just, just pretty good. Like pretty nice stuff from the opponent there. Can we get another Destroyer? Oh. Uh... Sure, yeah, with priority, I think this will be fine, yeah. This adds 24 to both other locations. That's pretty nice. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, but they might technically do, like, a Shadow King or something that screws me. I don't know, but they're all six anyway. It's not like they're bad by default. Uh, they're still pretty powerful cards by default. Surely Daken just cannot be good enough, right? Nova? What is this going to be? Oh, discard the shard? It's just not enough, though. Pretty sad, 12 powers, just... I got three of those. <laughs> All that work and I got three of those. <laughs> yeah, all right. Man, this wins so easily. Oh, hey, it's multiple freaking man and Nico for the first time today. That's fantastic. Uh, we can just put this in the game lab. That should be fine. We definitely want to contest that. We have the multiple man. We'll still play for that line. I think multiple Phoenix forces lets us contest other locations a little bit more interestingly. Oh, Limbo, cool. Man, scary game. 
Don't have the destroy yet. I mean, we definitely want to hit the Phoenix Force on curve. We have three cards to hit that could turn this multiple man off or turn him on. Set him up for Phoenix Force is what I'm trying to say. I don't know what the right words are here. Uh, destroy effect, please, one time. Nice, let's go. See, unless we weave in a human torch, I think. 12 is probably going to be the right call. Um, we'll still have the Phoenix Force here. This is fine. Opponent only goes for one. Interesting. Oh, this is probably a bot, is it? I'm realizing the name Caleb looks like a bot to me. Chavez being in their deck too. Randomly feels like a bot as well. Uh, which is fine. I need some Phoenix Force games, so I'm going to include this in the video just because I've been recording for a long time and Old Man's been hiding. So we just need some games showing the raw power output of this... Uh, of this play, which this will provide. Uh, particularly because of the uh, the limbo here. Yeah, we could go like Shuri Nimrod stuff, but I think we're gonna kind of fill up on multiple men, honestly, I don't think we need to. Uh, multiple men's are gonna be kind of all over the board here in a minute. Maybe even have too many, maybe kind of stuck on the final turn. Not really sure. There's gonna be just a lot of dudes. Many, many men, It's it's raining men. Hallelujah. It's raining men. <laughs> Anyone who doesn't know that song is like, what is he saying? Being really, he's making me uncomfortable, Regis. <laughs> They've got a vision. I've got a lot of visions. Like this fills mid already, right? Maybe we move, well, this also fills right. I mean, like I said, we're just gonna be, I mean, I think we're just filling places, right? I don't know. We've got, a, we've got the biggest lead. Like, let's do this. I wish I kind of had a Venom this game, this turn to like, you know, consolidate space, but I missed Venom this whole time. So, I don't know. Like, like we said, it's just going to be all multiple men. <laughs> it's either big enough or it's not. I don't know. Whatever. We're a little exposed to Shang-Chi left. Like the multiple men help, but I guess that would only be 15 technically. They would still have to add some power there, which would be nice. These multiple men animations take forever. If they shang this turn, we'd be able to go back and play more multiple men, so that would be cool. Uh, opponent also pretty full. We do hit the Venom now, but now it's like too late, so. I don't know what happens if you like keep moving these. <laughs> like, I didn't break anything, did I? Do they all still end up where they're supposed to? I'm actually just really curious. I, you don't need to move that many times. I had it after two moves, but I just want to see what happens. Oh man, that's no fun. <laughs> Come on. That's no fun. Oh man. Robot, let me, let me have fun. I think it was a bot still. I don't know. Chavez was suspicious. All right, Sinister London. We've got multiple man carnage, so we can do some pretty good Phoenix Force stuff. Uh, the second multiple man here probably wouldn't really help us much. We're probably better off playing multiple man right. Uh, we don't want too many early. We want more later. Your Island is kind of good too for multiple man if we want. Uh, we could wait, but we can top deck Phoenix Force. If we don't top deck Phoenix Force, I guess we're gonna play Shuri Nimrod. It's like a lot of Nimrods <laughs> floating around. I don't know, man. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Shuri Phoenix Force could also actually still be pretty good too. We'll see. It's gonna be a pretty full board with all the Shuris. Now Shuri mid doesn't do anything. Oh, this has gotta be a pot, right? I mean, they could be setting up for like a an odin or something but it reads bot to me oh sick let's just go phoenix force yeah now i think we like i think in this case with sims for we like shuri phoenix force specifically better because we don't need as many moves yeah this is actually just way better um because we'll be able to fill the board with just the sinister london copies pretty fast and then we have ghost spider as well so we could stack um some pretty crazy power here yeah this is <laughs> <laughs> okay, bro. Come on. <laughs> come on, dude. <laughs> this feels not fair um, So This actually might whiff right because of the I mean hold on this ghost spider actually 
This might whiff because if the Phoenix Force goes here anyway, this isn't gonna do anything, I'll just be full and I won't really have a lot of power. I think we just wait. I think we can actually even just Venom next turn too. Um, Venom copies into a really high stat total here, which is, is awesome. So yeah, this should be fine. I don't know. Let's just not get greedy on the Ghost Spider. We can actually Ghost Spider um, as well still next turn. So it's not like we have to break anything here. Wait, does this not copy? Oh no, 10 plus 3, 13. Yeah, no, it doesn't, I'm stupid. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we can actually go spider right. Uh, we'll just like Venom. We can actually, uh, let's see, there's gonna be a multiple man there. Yeah, this is like a billion power. I don't even know. This is a billion power. It's it's too much. It's, it, we're not, I mean, I guess the Venom right, the mid, Venom mid doesn't eat, but it doesn't matter. He's just high status. It's, it's all good. We don't need him to eat anyway. Um, okay. Cool. Can we even win right as well? Like, <laughs> we're pretty good. I mean, it's not guaranteed by any means. <laughs> pretty good though. Uh, but, but certainly left and, and mid are gonna be very large. This is so silly. It's, it's kind of sad we have to do this against a bot, right? But it's so silly. You know, I'm actually not that big left if I look closely, because we moved everything away from left, really. We're kind of excessively large uh, mid. And that Iron Man, geez, yeah, this is not, not good place for the opponent. <laughs> Certainly. Okay, Nico. Uh, next card, plus two power. That's actually pretty useful for Torch and multiple man setups here, which we could hit either. We don't have them now, but setting up for them definitely doesn't hurt. Uh, Venom, not so useful. Carnage, eh. Carnage, we want to save for a Shuri Nimrod backup line here, probably. Feels better, usually. Turn five, all cards going mid, so we need to Shuri uh, mid for sure. Deathlock, uh, we can kind of tempo a Deathlock, yeah. It's gonna be buffed, which doesn't really help because we kind of know where we're going. Phoenix Force on a Nico doesn't really seem right. I think it's just Shuri Nimrod mid still. Shuri Deathlock's kind of cool, it'd be 14, but clearly doesn't scale as well as Nimrod. Yeah, too late on the multiple man. Ravona's making me think uh, maybe Mr. Negative, but they didn't hit it. I don't know what else. Goblins, Iron Man, a few possibilities. Goblins, yeah. Okay. Well, good news is we get to eat goblins. Uh, Carnage in particular can just eat that goblin right away. And we do not care. Uh, we don't want the Venom to eat the goblin typically. So we probably want a Venom mid ga Carnage right. I would probably snap here too, by the way. Uh, might be too soon because they kind of probably know you're a destroyed deck. Might be a little, might be a little behind. Okay, so the Hobgoblin mid is definitely a little worse, of course, because the Venom will permanenticize, per, per, make the stats permanent, permanenticize. I don't think those are words, but you know what I mean. Uh, so two Nimrods left. Uh, Venom plus Nimrod mid is going to be 820. I mean, this is just really good, right? just no way this loses i don't think we have priority so we're not worried about like space basically getting to eat their stuff just completely shuts up it looks like they did nothing and it will feel that way after we're done too we will have a completely monster setup all right please god give me that multiple man one time dude one time one time one time one time one time please i actually need a destroy effect as well i i swear to god i had like six straight multiple man games on my phone I sit down to record. I'm on a tight deadline. I got to get this video out ASAP. Multiple man disappears from existence. He's just gone. He has no interest. He's not involved at all. All right, multiple man. We need you for the video, dude. Oh, you failed us again, multiple man. I don't even know, dude. What do we do here? The wave does, I mean, it lets me cheat a Nimrod out early. Guess that's cool. I don't know. Opponent's going to wave too, right? We have priority, which... Again, is that useful? I don't know. I'm not really sure. <laughs> Seems okay. Uh, 
Dr. Doom coming down, all right. And Nimrods do like kind of beat Dr. Doom's, uh, you know, face to face, which is sort of cool. Uh, I want like some space available here, right? I'm trying to think about like, I wouldn't mind a Nimrod like ending up on its own either, but I actually need to tempo cards because I need, I need, I need priority to, to beat Eliath. Oh, Professor X. Okay, that's pretty cool. We had priority here. We could have could have beat that. I mean, we're still pretty big, but the Artem's only got a lot worse. Right, just a lot worse. Sure. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Odin's good, but not good enough. I think we go to 14 against an Odin. Uh, two cards? God knows. I don't know what that's going to be. What's that going to be? Hope I don't regret the order on this positioning. I don't. Okay. Yeah, chill. Nice. 